I'm not a cook, I'm a baker. Bing! Hi guys! We're gonna be making a vegan dinner. Are you guys excited? So today we're gonna be making our own homemade salsa and some beer lime cauliflower tacos. And right now we're gonna make our own fire roasted salsa. I've never made salsa before. I made it one time with Sean a couple days ago. I wanna try the one in this cookbook, see if it tastes a little different. So what you're gonna need for this salsa recipe that I'm gonna do is a can of fire roasted diced tomatoes, a white onion, green onions, chopped cilantro, serrano peppers, some garlic, ground cumin, lime, and salt. I'm gonna make the salsa now and then put it in the fridge for a little bit and then we'll come back and make the tacos. So for this, you're gonna need a food processor or a blender. I have a blender. I already chopped up everything beforehand because chopping up everything and watching is boring. So you're pretty much just gonna dump everything in the blender. This is a cilantro, both onions, the serrano peppers, and garlic. For the serrano peppers, if you don't want it to be spicy, don't leave the seeds in. I am a baby when it comes to spice, so I only left the seeds in one of them instead of all three. But if you want that spice, leave the seeds in. So it calls for a fourth teaspoon of cumin. Bing, 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 bing. Okay, there's stuff coming out. Okay. And then take your can of your fire roasted diced tomatoes. And it says the juice of half of a lime, but I might use more because lime juice is bomb. Ooh. Okay, I've never made salsa before. Um, I'm kind of nervous. Dude, that looks kind of good. Well, ooh. That is so good! Wow. It made like a cup and a half, two cups of salsa. Ooh, that is good. Ooh, I'm proud of myself. Okay, so we're gonna save this for our tacos and I'll see you guys later. All right. We're back. Uh, yeah, so like I said before, we're gonna be making beer and lime cauliflower tacos. I'm pumped, I've had these before. Gonna make them a different way this time. Yeah, so for this recipe, what you're gonna need is some cauliflower. You're gonna need beer. I probably could have used Modelo or Corona, but hams is superior, so we're gonna go with hams. Some vegetable broth, lime juice, soy sauce or tamari, whichever you like better, any kind of hot sauce, some garlic, chili powder, smoked paprika, cumin, garlic powder, or I have garlic salt, some salt, olive oil, an onion, tortillas, and a shavakadu. And then we're also gonna be adding the salsa that we made earlier onto the tacos, because that salsa was bomb. What you're gonna do first, turn your oven on, we're gonna broil this cauliflower. In this recipe book I have, it says to bake it at 400, like keep flipping it, but we did that the first time and it just didn't turn out well and it took like over an hour to cook freaking cauliflower. So I'm just gonna broil it, watch it, flip it, it's gonna be fun. You wanna make sure that they're like kinda small. I don't know about you, but I don't like big chunks of cauliflower. I like to make them kinda small-ish. I don't know if you can see. Ding! Like probably the size of a quarter. Make them tiny. I'm gonna cut this and I'll be right back. All right, so cut these guys up super tiny little cauliflower boys. So now we're pretty much gonna mix all of the liquids into a saucepan. Yeah, we're, we're cooking. So while that's heating up on the stove, we're gonna mix together all the spices and stuff that go in here. One and a half teaspoons of chili powder. One a teaspoon of paprika. I don't like these things, come on! Well, four teaspoon of garlic salt. And then some salt. Okay, so you're gonna mix that around. It's gonna look like spices. So we're gonna mix the spices and the olive oil in this bowl. We need a tablespoon of olive oil. Bing! This is gonna be like kind of a thick, pasty type of consistency. So then, holy moly, this is 
too many things for one person. Okay, e okay, so then we're gonna throw all the cauliflower in our little mixture. Okay, so we're gonna let the cauliflower sit in there for like two minutes, I wanna say. A few minutes later. All right, so now we're gonna take this and drain it. So then we're gonna throw it in our spice mixture. We're gonna throw this and our onions. I'm praying to God I have enough spice mixture because last time I didn't and I had to make more spices. So I think we'll be okay, we should be okay. So now we're gonna add everything to a pan with parchment paper. Use parchment paper for cauliflower because if you don't, it will stick to literally anything you cook it on. Dump it all on there. And make sure to spread it out too because it'll cook faster. So here's all the cauliflower. So we're gonna put it in the oven. I'm gonna broil it, so I'm gonna watch it really quick. I wanna say like five minutes tops for this. Okay. Oh my God, these look so good. I'm so excited right now. Taste his time. So here we go. Dude, this is so good. Mm. Okay, this salsa is bomb. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Oh, so spicy. All right. Well, I'm gonna enjoy my dinner. If you wanna make this, make it. 12 out of 10. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye. Michael! Oh, that's funny.